we are just getting word here um, of a school shooting. Another shooting in America, another community shattered, and more young lives senselessly taken. They have never seen a tragedy of this scale before. The name of the school is Umpqua Community College. It's located in Roseburg, Oregon. I just finished that class. I was the class, I was the 9 o'clock class, or the 8 o'clock class, and we got out a little bit early. About 50 feet away, I heard the gunshots. Everybody just looked at each other, and we knew. We knew something was going on. Somebody is outside one of the doors, shooting through the doors. We do have one female that has been shot at this time. Happy Rosic 17 exchanging gunshots right now with the Mallies in the classroom on the southeast side of Snyder Hall. Happy Rosic 17 unconfirmed report. He has a long gun, 1045. I just, I don't know how to describe it. Somehow, Miss Fear, we followed Miss Fear down um, to the bookstore. We went to the bookstore, she told everybody, hey, we think there's a shooter, we don't know what's going on, you need to call the police. We all went back into the back room in the science building, and that's where we waited for what seemed like forever. I was pretty panicked it, at first, then I kind of calmed down thinking it was just a drill or something like that when we all hid in the back room, but everybody's being too quiet and there's no shooting drills there, there's only fire drills. and. So I was pretty panicked after that. Code 4, the suspect is down. Copy. Code 4, suspect is down. You dispatch as many ambulances as possible to this incident. We have upwards of 20 victims. There's been another mass shooting in America. That means there are more American families, moms, dads, children, whose lives have been changed forever. I feel awful. I feel awful. I mean, to witness the families that were waiting for the students in the last bus, and to see all of the hugs and weeping and trauma that's gone on, more people were hurt than just the ones that were shot. This is a small community. It's a, it's a community college, so a lot of our friends and family uh, attend this college. I personally know uh, of a number of people that, that I work with that had uh, very strong concerns about the welfare of loved ones that are going to school there. You will not hear anyone from this law enforcement operation use his name. I continue to believe that those media and community members who publicize his name will only glorify his horrific actions. The gun control issue has no role in this discussion. They were saying that he would that he would live here or something. I'm not. That he was upstairs or something. I'm not sure. Don't get nervous. Yeah. Just... <laughs> he seemed really unfriendly, actually. Like he'd just sit in his upstairs upstairs in his porch at night, just in the dark and everything. Like one night there was some fighting going on up there, and then he just like me yelled at me and my husband a lot because we were smoking and he didn't want us to smoke up there. UCC is just so, you know, just everybody's chill and like you would never ever think that it'll. A little college like this, something like this would happen. In our sorrow, we will remember and honor those lost here today.